Hey everybody, it's Anthony with Kazoto Photo, you know, here for the photography junkies. Uh, it's just me tonight, Brett is off, and what I thought we'd do tonight is go over some of the gifts that you can get for your favorite photographer. We've got the fire going, we've got the tree lit, yes, both of these are real. Uh, so let's dive into the 2021 gift guide for photographers. All right, so, you know, it's Christmas time. Uh, I know we're airing this a little after Hanukkah, but it's time to think about giving gifts to those that we love. And, you know, a little bit more background on me. I haven't been doing photography for all that long. It's only been about a year. Now, in this one year that I've done this, I've actually collected a lot of stuff. Uh, most of which I bought for myself. Um, so it's been a pretty exciting and whirlwind year. And one of the things I want to stress about everything we're going to talk about today is I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. This is stuff that in the last year I've bought and I use. So we want to make sure that you're getting stuff that is best for you or for the person you're buying it for not just, you know, who's going to pay us. So none of these items that we talk about have any affiliation with Gazzotto Photo or the Photography Junkies. This is just what we really like, we use every day, and we think that you're going to get some great use out of. So let's get into it. I've got my handy-dandy Santa sack here. We're going to break this down into two categories. We've got stocking stuffers, and then we also have things that are going to make them go, Whoa, thanks, look at that, that's awesome. Now, those are the gifts for the people that you maybe like a little bit more. You want to make them really appreciate what you did. Uh, so, the first one, uh, you know, we're in wedding season here, so this is for any wedding photographer you may know. Uh, alcohol. Uh, wedding photographers have it going pretty tough right now, so they're definitely going to want a bottle of alcohol. I prefer bourbon. I'm not a wedding photographer, but if you want to send some bourbon my way, please. I will more than happily accept it and uh, always appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into it here. So one of the first things that uh, every photographer needs and wants uh, makes a great stocking stuffer are memory cards. I know that sounds like a not a big deal kind of gift, but we use these all the time. Literally all the time. We don't use our cameras without them. They don't work. Uh, so this is a very important gift for everybody, and a handy-dandy case to carry them in is also helpful. Uh, I have a whole bunch of different memory cards uh, that I use for various different things, and I happen to really like this case. Uh, it's basically impossible to break or bust. It's waterproof, uh, so it's awesome. Uh, the important thing with memory cards is making sure they have plenty of space and they have a pretty high read-write uh, speed on them. Excuse me. So uh, I'll put links to everything in the description below, uh, just things you can pick up on Amazon. Uh, as far as brand go, uh, I'm either a SanDisk or a Lexar guy, uh, so I really like both of them. They make great products, so you're not going to go wrong with either one. Uh, and honestly, I think I got the case for like 15 bucks, and it goes with me everywhere. Uh, so it's awesome. So that's item number one. Item number two, another thing we use all the time, batteries and something to charge them with. So the important thing about batteries is to make sure that you buy the one that goes with the right camera. So if you are buying these as a gift for somebody, make sure you know what kind of camera they're using, Google it, and it'll tell you exactly what kind of batteries they use. Uh, I also like having my dual charger. Uh, so when I'm done with you know a session, I take both batteries out of my camera, throw them in the dual charger, put in new batteries into my camera, and just, go on with my day. Uh, so I usually have about 
between four and six batteries, depending on where I'm going or what I'm going to do. And uh, it always comes in handy. So, again, those are the kind of stocking stuffer. You're not going to get a huge hug and thank you out of it, but it's definitely going to be appreciated. Okay. One of my next favorite items is a Gorilla Pod. Uh, you know, I hadn't had one of these for a while. Uh, I always thought, you know, what do I need this small little thing for? This is super useful. Uh, so this can be bent into any different configuration. So depending on where you're shooting, what you might be doing, this can be bent to actually, you know, hang on to the chair and your camera can sit there or you put a light on it. You know, we'll be getting into a couple of those a little bit later and it can really make the difference in what you're doing. Uh, there's a couple different ones. I think this is called an octopod, octopus pod, octopod, I don't know. Uh, gorilla pod, if you look that up, it'll come up with various different ones. Uh, I think, again, this was like 15 bucks. I really like this. It's super light, uh, so it can just get hooked onto your bag, get put in your bag, and you never know when it's going to come in handy, but it always does. So I, I really like that. Uh, I recommend that for basically any photographer, and uh, they're going to like it too. Item number four. Four? Four. Five, if you count the case for the uh, memory cards. Camera strap. Um, if you know a photographer, uh, they, when they bought their camera, it likely came with the one that says, you know, Nikon, Canon, whatever. Uh, that's not stylish. I, I know it represents their brand or whatever, but get them something nice and comfortable. Uh, this is way more comfortable than the one that came with the camera. So this was probably the second thing I bought after my camera. I put on that strap for the first time and said, oh, that's terrible. It feels like hell on my neck. Uh, so get a new camera strap. You can get a camera strap anywhere from eight bucks to a hundred or more dollars, depending on what it is. This is just a nice, uh, cloth one. Uh, I really like it. It's kind of subtle. You can get leather camera straps that all, you know, uh, patina really nice. Um, so that's again, the little stocking stuffer. Uh, if you know the person, you can get them something that's a little more stylish to what they do, what they like. Uh, so that's a fun one. What do we have next? Ah, this is an interesting one. So I have two recommendations here. So lens caps, let me tell you, suck. We need them because we like to protect our lenses. So this is something we always need, but these little guys are a pain in the ass. Lens caps suck. You know, again, they're fine, whatever. I just got this little guy and uh, I really like it. This is a little silicone cap from a company called Curved. Um, and this fits over most lenses. It's not gonna go over your big wildlife sports photography lens, but this fits over this no problem and really gets rid of having to worry about this little guy because uh, they get lost all the time and the other problem with this is you need to have one for each size lens so if you're not a photographer and you're buying for one all of these lenses come with different size threads that fit things and uh, these go on those threads so you need one for each size lens. So they get mixed up, they get lost. You have to go buy the right one for your lens. It's a pain. So that's fine if you wanna buy these. These are like five bucks for two, depending on the size you need. And if you need the size, you can look on the camera here, or excuse me, on the lens here, and you'll see you know, a little explanation about the lens, and then it'll say a uh, little, symbol and 52 so this is a 52 millimeter cap and lens uh as you know far as thread size but these little guys are basically universal like i said they probably would fit over the bigger lenses but i, I don't think i'll use it for my 600 millimeter but everything else i can just put this guy right over top stretch it out and i'm good 
The other cool thing about this is it just easily goes in your pocket. Uh, you're going to find it, and this is nice and sturdy. It's also waterproof, dirt-proof, mud-proof. I really like this guy. I just got this the other day, and uh, I think I'm going to have to get a few more. So that's an awesome little gift. That's one of those things that you don't think you need until you get it, and you go, wow, I could have used this a long time ago. So I recommend that. Right, moving on to the next part, this is, again, not a wow gift, but a, hey, I really appreciate you gift. Uh, cleaning kit. Uh, if you're a photographer, you need to clean your equipment just like anything else. Uh, you can buy a full little cleaning kit that comes with a microfiber cloth, a little pen here, and this little pen does a little brush and has a little screen cleaner on there. Uh, it's got wipes, it's got spray, it's got a brush, it's got a rocket um, blower. These are great things. We always need them. Um, you know, uh, somebody who actually really cares about their stuff isn't going to hold on to their microfiber cloths for years. They're going to get new ones all the time. Um, they're inexpensive, but they go a long way in keeping our equipment clean, which means that everything's going to stay safe and work well. And that's an awesome thing. Look, see, look, lens cap. I don't know where this came from, but uh, it fell off of somewhere, and I'm going to have to figure that out later. But hopefully I'll just use that new curved silicone one. Uh, those curved lenses, by the way, they're like, or covers, I think they're like 15 bucks. Awesome gift for 15 bucks. Uh, that is well worth the price of admission there. Uh, moving on to things that you're going to get a little bit more of a wow from. And in some instances, you might get a little bit of a eye raise of how did you know I needed that? One of them is a pocket knife or utility knife. Um, this is something I didn't necessarily know I needed. Uh, I carry a knife with me most of the time, uh, just in general, because it always comes in handy. But for photography, uh, I realized, hey, I need a screwdriver and stuff to you know, change out more often than I ever thought I did. So you might get a weird look when you hand somebody this. This is you know one of those nine-in-one multi-tools that has the screwdriver and pliers and you know everything on there. You might get a weird look when you first hand somebody this, but explain to them that the dude on YouTube that you watch said that it's going to come in handy because it's going to come in handy. Oh, man, my fire's dying already. Hmm. We're going to have to figure that out. I thought that was going to last longer. Anyway pocket knife. You can get anything, uh, go in any price range, I should say, with a pocket knife or a utility tool. Uh, this was a relatively inexpensive one. This one stays in my bag at all times, in my uh, camera bag. Uh, this way I always have it. And then this guy is always in my pocket. And I'm probably going to get another one for Christmas. And hopefully, if anybody's watching for my family... Yeah, so yeah, it's a good gift for any photographer. Um, and again, they can range anywhere from $15 to $100 or more. Uh, you probably don't have to go on that super high end. But one of the cool things is that they are super customizable. There's hundreds of hundreds of different knives out there that you can get something that fits that person's personality, similar to the camera strap, and they're probably going to love it. Hang on, I'm going to put another log on the fire. Hey, all right, next. This is another one that this probably counts more as a stocking stuffer, so pretend that I did this one five minutes ago. This little gadget is actually a stool or table. Now, you may say, why do you need this? Well, if you are a wildlife or nature photographer, this little guy can really save your back. I actually used this this morning to photograph some geese. It folds out, and then you just give it a little twist, 
and it's a full tool. I think it holds up to 220 pounds, 250 pounds, something like that. Oh, I'll, again, I'll link it below. Uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors. It's a great tool. And because it folds up into this little guy here, it is nice and easy to strap to your bag, just carry it. It stays the other trouble. Um, carry it, whatever you might need to do. It also acts as a great little table that you can put stuff on, or if you are out in nature, you know, photographing birds, wild animals, you can make it a short little table and use it for basically support that you can rest your camera on it. You know, save your arms and shoulders a little bit. This is awesome. Okay. Moving on again. Uh, so now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes. These gifts are a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, all of those things were basically under 30 bucks. You can do, obviously, again, the strap and the knife you can go upwards on. Uh, but a couple of these things are going to be in the couple hundred dollars if you want. Uh, and it's really worth it sometimes. So, uh, number one is camera bags. Uh, I've got three different ones sitting next to me. This little guy uh, actually came inside of the bigger one I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, this holds like your camera and a lens or some accessories. Um, it's useful uh, depending on what you're doing. If you're you know, going to just do an easy shoot or you're just walking around with your family, this is all you need. Uh, it's an awesome little gift. Uh, this guy, this is a crumpler bag. These are super nice. Uh, I think it's Australian is crumpler. crumpler. Um, I use this when I go do street photography. Uh, it holds a couple lenses, all my accessories, and my camera body. Uh, it's super easy. kind of just slings over my shoulder. I love this bag. I actually bought this uh, along with my body off of somebody on Facebook uh, Marketplace. Uh, not my body, my camera body, by the way. <laughs> Don't want to get in trouble. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this was an awesome purchase, and uh, I can't believe that dude threw it in with the camera body. And then this behemoth, this is my Endorix bag that holds basically everything. Uh, it's really big. It's bulky, uh, but in a not you know, obtrusive way. Uh, it holds everything I need it to hold. Uh, it can obviously be lighter if I don't put so much stuff in it. Uh, but I mean, this houses two camera bodies, three normal lenses, you know, this size, a little bigger, and then also my enormous 150 to 600 millimeter lens, as well as all of the other accessories, cleaning equipment, stuff that we talked about already. Everything goes into this. The laptop pouch. Uh, this is a great bag. That little bag that I showed you first came inside of this bag. Uh, so this was a great purchase. It took me a while to find a bag that I actually liked, mainly because I kept buying stuff that I'm showing you now. So, uh, you know, that is what it is. Uh, next, cool little gifts here. Here's a couple neat little things. Uh, these are Loom Cubes. Uh, this is the Panel Mini, and this is the Loom Cube 2.0. Uh, these are super useful in a variety of different ways. Uh, I use these all the time. Uh, this guy gets nice and bright here. I'm trying not to put it right in your face, but look how bright that guy gets. That is so useful. You have no idea. And then you can just put it right on that gorilla pod that I showed you earlier and strap it and point it wherever you want. This is an awesome light. Uh, this was like 90 bucks. Uh, we can really turn it down. Uh, it came with a couple different accessories and Jesus. Uh, came with a couple different accessories and things that go inside of this casing that's all magnetic. Uh, it's slightly waterproof. I don't remember how far, but look at that. Nice and neat. Fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, this was an awesome purchase. A uh, couple of photos that I've shot, I've thrown, uh, you know, a filter over it and put it behind stuff and it, you know, illuminated a lamp like it looked like it was lit with fire. 
like that. Uh, so that was a good purchase. And then this guy, I also really like. This is the Loom Cube Panel Mini. Uh, again, super small. It's smaller than my cell phone, I think. I don't even know where my cell phone is. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. So this also gets super bright, uh, as you can see. And it's adjustable, dimmable with this little knob. And one of the other cool things I like about this is that it is temperature controlled. So you can actually change, I don't know how well this is showing up on the screen, but you can actually change the color that it's going to, yeah, you can see it's orange now. Uh, the color that's going to come up so that you can match the conditions you're in. Uh, I really like this. One of the other cool things I've done with this is uh, this diffuser piece here that comes off and, you know, you can get it even brighter then. I've actually put one of the gels from my flashes in here and completely changed the color to blue or red uh, and done some shots that way. Uh, this has been an awesome purchase. It comes with this handy dandy little hot shoe key and if you're watching this you may not know what a hot shoe uh, you know, adapter is. This goes on top of your camera, this screws into here, and then it can sit on top of your camera as an external light. Uh, I use this all the time for product shoots or for some real estate stuff that I've done. Really helps uh, illuminate it where you might not have light otherwise. Uh, so that's an awesome one. Uh, this was probably only 60 bucks, and it's been super useful. Two more. Okay, and again, nothing terribly expensive here. One of them is a, this is more for some nature photographers, landscape photographers. This is a square filter kit. And what that is, it's got these cool little adapters. This goes on your lens. It's got a whole bunch of little ring adapters. And then this guy here, this is an ND filter. And an ND filter goes on the outside of that, and it makes everything dark. Now, why would you want anything really dark? Well, this, as you can see, is almost pitch black. This is a 10-stop ND filter. You can't see through this. But for the photographer that knows what they're doing here, this is what you use to get some of those really cool water photos where... A waterfall looks really soft and creamy and milky, just flowing through, or a lake or water that looks like glass. You kind of need one of these because you need to keep that shutter open longer, and this helps prevent too much light from getting in there. This, again, I think this may have been 100 bucks. It comes with all the adapter rings you need for basically whatever lens your user could possibly have and then you put that on there and you're good to go uh, doesn't take a whole lot of learning what to do and it's super useful for a variety of different reasons and that's a cool gift that'll kind of show that you're thinking outside the box there and our last one is a 50 millimeter lens uh, or any lens really but a 50 millimeter lens comes in handy all the time. Uh, it's actually what you're watching me on. It's my favorite lens in my bag. Almost exclusively stays on my camera. Uh, it's great for portraits, for almost everything. Um, so getting somebody a 50 millimeter lens if they don't already have one is an awesome gift, and they're not that expensive. Uh, the Nikon 50 millimeter and that's a 1.8 uh, aperture on there is 200 bucks, 215 bucks. Uh, that's an awesome lens. Uh, it's probably the best value you're going to get for your money when it comes to a lens. Now, you can obviously spend whatever you want and get even nicer lenses uh, or, you know, bigger lenses, smaller lenses, specialty lenses. All of those things are awesome gifts, but I wanted to give you something that wasn't going to cost an arm and a leg. Uh, 200 to 225 bucks is super reasonable, especially for the value that you're going to get out of that lens. Uh, that's what I shoot all my portraits with. 
Uh, a lot of my product photography is done with the 50 millimeter. It really gives that nice blurred background. That would be an awesome gift for any photographer that doesn't already have one. Uh, so that's everything I think I've got here. Don't forget the alcohol for our wedding photographers or any photographers. Um, you know, I hope everybody has a really great holiday season. I hope you get to spend a lot of time with your loved ones and your family. And thanks for all of your support this year as happy holidays. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.